Sanji. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. I took a little break and went back to Thailand to visit my family. I'm from Thailand and I miss Thailand so bad, especially fruit and food and all this delicious food. So I went back with my husband and my, my baby for, the, for them for the first time. They love it. I'm, I'm so excited that they love it. And um, I was trying to show my husband all these uh, de delicious food, fruit, curry, all different things, you know. And I wanted to also eat them all because of my own memories. So I have not stay raw. I have all fruit breakfast, but then I'll eat a lot of Thai food. But still, no meat, some seafood at the beginning, and then I, I didn't feel good about it. I couldn't, and I don't enjoy fish, shrimp, crab meat, or lobster or anything like that. I don't really enjoy it anymore. Um, but most of the food came. Uh, it was we went to the beach, so it's a lot of seafood, and there's not a lot of vegetarian choices for me and I just thought we're on vacation I'm gonna just let it go and not be too hard on myself and then after a few days I'm just like you know what I, I don't even enjoy it I don't know why I'm eating it so I stopped eating um, seafood or any animal at all um, and but you know it's so the food there is so delicious and it's so easy to be healthy there Although people are starting to become um, sick and misunderstand about health as well. And I was on the TV show um, called Modern Moms Experience. And I, I was talking about raising um, a raw vegan baby and no vaccination for my boy as well. Because for um, Thai people, it, it is also um, strange to go against you know, what your doctors recommend and, and all that. And I'm really happy to share that experience. And hopefully for, for moms out there that feels uncomfortable with vaccination, their kids can see that, you know, Lucky is super healthy and there's no problem and I can do it, they can do it also. And that was my, my goal. But if you feel comfortable having vaccination, you give vaccination to your child, then that's good. For, I mean, I mean, no judgment there. You know, everybody's different. I'm just here to um, connect with people who feels the same and want to do the same. Also, um, just want to say that I, I wanted to make it clear that you know life doesn't have to be hard, and we want to go with the flow. We want to connect with nature and the natural flow of things. And from my own experience. I am like a hardcore type of person when I want to do something I go full on and I sometimes force myself to do things and then I end up hurting myself more and I realize that when I'm at the best health for work for 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 my body like physical health from exercising or from eating um, always when I'm gentle with myself is when I'm the healthiest so anytime when I force myself to do raw food the first time, even though my body doesn't feel well, even though I was craving something else, I force myself to eat only raw and you know certain types of food end up making me more sick than ever because I didn't listen to my body and I'm not, I was forcing myself. And it's the same as doing um, exercise, yoga, or training. I used to force myself to to the point of pain if I don't feel pain then it's not a workout and I end up hurting myself more and it doesn't really you know my, my body breaks down it doesn't really help it do, I do more harm than good and that is almost like a theme for our, our lives why do we have to you know force ourselves to do things to feel pain in nature and to be healthy like it's so simple even me I forget sometimes like if it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't taste good, if you don't, you know, it doesn't make you full or if you're hungry, just don't starve yourself. Listen to what your body needs, you know, and just follow. Your body tells you all the time, like if you have stomach ache after you're eating certain things, then don't eat it. You know, if you're not full, then eat more. If it doesn't taste good, don't eat it. 
and um, a lot of times too if you're very toxic and you're kind of like very confused your energy is all over the place you're eating wrong food so you're kind of like drugged up from the wrong types of food um, confused you know you can't find this your center so at the beginning it is hard to listen to your body and I understand why people are confused and they don't know what's good or bad because they're just their system is like this you know but once you clean out detox and cleanse your body after a while you uh, you're very in tune with your body you can tell right away if this is something your body needs or not so um, a really good diet to follow a book to read is called 80 10 10 by dr. Graham um, it's very popular right now because you see results fast and you can see people who are on this diet becomes like a uh, athlete you know even at 40 50 they have supreme uh, physical body you can tell from the way they look and their energy so if you are confused and you don't know what to do I really highly recommend Dr. Graham 801010 you will have to follow their recipe for a while you can start by just doing uh, mono meal fruit meal in the morning for breakfast and once you get comfortable with that then you do lunch as well and then you you know keep going till dinner time and do 100% but just go with the flow you know how you feel maybe today's work the next day doesn't work but then you know just try to feel your body how it feels when you eat this kind of food and not be too hard on yourself don't force yourself just relax you know do it if it feels good and if it doesn't feel good then don't do it you know just and it's not all or nothing you can do a little bit a day and then the next day you change your mind whatever you know you'll get there eventually as long as you keep trying and just try to feel your body at the beginning of this diet they will recommend you to use some kind of a program called chronometer you can download it um, for free online and log uh, write down how much you eat so you know exactly how many uh, how if you're over you if you had too much fat or protein just because it's kind of a little bit specific in how you eat how much you need to eat you need to eat enough and not go crazy on the fat or protein intake that kind of stuff but for me because I'm pretty in tune with how much I'm eating I don't waste my time write that down but if you're new to all this you might want to follow them for a while for a month or a few weeks until you understand how much you need to feel full just give it a try I think you will really enjoy it and you will be amazed of your transformation and just share it with other people raw vegan diet is the solution to the world's problem to your health to the cruel animal cruelty and to our planet and our rainforest our environment everything it's I think it's time we really look at this there's a lot of YouTubes out there from famous doctors really renowned well-known doctors who talks about how clear it is that animals proteins and and fat cause problems every disease cancer diabetes and high blood pressure everything stem from how we eat so if you go to a plant-based raw uh, vegan diet not even have to be raw but plant-based whole food vegan diet you are going to cure yourself 100% and it's out there everywhere if you don't believe me do some research because don't just take your doctor's word for it do your own research and you will see there's tons of documentaries tons of websites and blogs and YouTube channels talking about this and you can see from people who've done it and cure themselves miraculously in no time so this is really the way to go if you want to be healthy this year 2013 is the year let's start the year off the right way for you your family your child and the animals on this planet and for our mother nature just become raw try to be vegan not raw try just do vegan stop eating animals it's really bad for your health so uh, start by, um, you know, just start by 
quitting a few things as much as you can and then eventually you can do more and then you'll do more the next day because for me it's such a it's such a long journey because I started this in high school I remember I love using new year new year resolution this year I'm not gonna eat any more beef and then the next year I'm not gonna eat any more chicken and you know I do that until I just slowly changed my diet and that's how I used I used the new year to do it. You don't really need the new year's to do it. You can use your birthday. It's just for the beginning when things are hard, you need a specific day to kind of mark that date. Um, but actually in reality, like anything, you don't have to wait for that certain days to like like Mother's Day. You don't need to wait for that day to tell your mom that you love her. You don't need for Valentine's Day to, you know, to tell your loved one that you love them it can be any day it should be any day up to you you can use any day and the best day and the best time is now now is the time just get excited write down your thoughts your dreams your goal plan it out well and just do it and not be too hard on yourself go with the flow see how you feel and just live life be happy you know I think you're really going to enjoy this uh, vegan lifestyle and please promote vegan lifestyle to everybody. It's time we wake up and realize that the high protein diet is the killer and happy new year everybody. I will be back for more information and tips in raw foods really soon. Bye bye. <music>